My name is Eric Kelso. I'm the curator of the Fire Museum of Maryland. I'd like to welcome you aboard the Baltimore City Fireboat, Mayor Thomas Del Sandro Jr. We are currently working with uh, several partners to try to bring this boat to our museum in Lutherville, where it will be a part of our museum at the front of the building. It'll be on permanent exhibit and display. We hope that you will be part of this project. It's a very important project for us as our part of our mission in the museum. We cover about 250 years of urban firefighting history in America. And a big part of that fire history in America is fire boats all up and down the coast, the Great Lakes, the rivers of our country. Fire boats have helped keep fires at bay. This particular fireboat was Baltimore City's first diesel fireboat, purchased in 1956 and named after the sitting mayor at the time, Mayor Thomas D'Alessandro Jr. It was Baltimore's most powerful fireboat, its first diesel fireboat, able to pump 12,000 gallons of water per minute while underway. This was a very important boat for Baltimore served for 51 years, uh, protecting the maritime industry, protecting the waterfront. And uh, we'd like to see that this boat it gets a proper home. It was scrapped after being decommissioned in 2007, but somebody convinced them to keep this section of the boat. And we would like to bring that to the museum and that's where you come in. Uh, below this video or in the Facebook link, depending on what media you're on right now, you will see a link to our GoFundMe. We are currently attempting to reach a goal of $100,000. Now this will pay for the transportation to the museum. This will pay for glassing, painting, lead abatement. There's lead all over the boat and the paint. So we have to have a uh, special blasting done to remove that lead contaminant and safely transport and dispose of it. So we hope that you will help us with this. Um, it's a very big project. It will be very changing for the museum. Uh, when you come to the museum, once this project is all done, you'll be able to stroll along the deck, tour the wheelhouse, see a rotating exhibit that will be in the deck house. And we have, we'll have all these water monitors here. There's three of them. This one's on the bow, and then there's one up on the wheelhouse, and one further up on the mid. Those will all be hooked up for special events where you'll be able to pump water through them and bring this boat back to life. And preserve its legacy at protecting Baltimore City and its waterfront. So we hope that this is a project you can be excited about and that you'll donate to. Uh, many hands make light work, so even if it's only $5, that's great. Every little bit helps, and we hope that that's something that you can do. So stay tuned to our Facebook, follow us there, uh, follow us on the website. We will continue to post updates on our GoFundMe, and we will continue to work towards bringing this piece of history to Lutherville on York Road, which will be quite an interesting transport. Um, we're talking a uh, 3 a.m. move up the Beltway uh, with a boat. So it'll be quite the story and quite the event to see. And we hope everybody will be a part of that. So thank you very much for your time and uh, welcome to the podcast.